project is the, the fastest El Camino, where we started out with the goal of you know, pushing an El Camino to 200 miles an hour. Started kind of as an extracurricular club with the, you know, with the automotive group. I had this idea to go to the salt flats, the world famous Bonneville salt flats. They're just over in Wendover. So I started getting the students involved and that worked out great. Students got involved, we had fun. Uh, we built a 1969 El Camino and we put a big engine in there and the students, we did a lot of safety stuff, a lot of body work. We set a land speed record in our class. So right now, as it stands with my group of students, we have the world land speed record in our class. So far we've succeeded. The car's gone 189 miles an hour. We hold the, the world record right now, the Bonneville Salt Flats for that particular car and class and category. As a student at UVU, my involvement with the UVSC racing team has mainly been the electrical part of the car. Um, anything from wiring systems in, a lot of different areas I have helped out with, different mechanics. I've definitely enjoyed the, the project. Um, it's been a lot of fun, it's been a lot of learning experiences, you know, great publicity for the school, for myself, as well a lot of extracurricular information. I have much, a lot of information that I can put on a resume now to say that I've done all these things. The trades are still, from my experience, a heavy influence in the school. Um, I know particular to the automotive program, since our change to university status, we have completely redeveloped the entire automotive program. A lot of the new things that are coming out on cars, electrical systems, computer programming, that's all being taught in the automotive courses so that again we can stay up on the, you know, the times and technology and, and you know, be successful in what we do.